Hello there, welcome to the June 2018 paper. Here we're looking at question 13. So the value of a rare painting V is modelled by the equation P Q to the power of T, where P and Q are constants and T is the number of years since the value of the painting was first recorded on the 1st of January 1980. Uh, the line L shows figure 3 illustrates the linear relationship between T and log base 10 of V since the 1st of January 1980. The equation of the line is log 10 of v um, equals 0.05t plus 4.8. Find to four significant figures the value of p and the value of q. Okay, this is just a rearranging question. So it's going to be log base 10 of v equals 0.05t plus 4.8. So what we'll do is we'll raise both sides to the power of 10 because that will undo the log base 10 on the other side. 10 is now the base of an indice on both sides. So it's V equals 10 to the power of 0.05T plus, plus 4.8. All of that equation is now the power of 10. Let's now use a rule of indices to split up this um, indice into two separate indices, both with a base of 10. Um, but now the, we've got them multiplying together. Uh, that's, that's a rule of indices. If you're multiplying indices together, you add the powers. We've just done that rule in reverse. So now it's our chance to work out what each of these values are separately. So now 10 to the power of 0 0.005. Is it 0 0.05? No, just 0 0.5. And that is 1.1220. 1.1220 oh, to the power of t times 10 to the power of 4.8, 63,100 63, to four significant figures, that's the nine, rounds the five up, yes, 63,100 that's what it's rounded to three to four significant figures. So therefore, we generally write this the other way around. 63,100 times 1.1220 to the power of t. So therefore, this value here is the value of p, and this value here is the value of q to the power of t. So p equals 63,100, and q equals 1.1220. So there we are, that's the answer for part A then. Now moving on to part B. Uh, with reference to the models uh, interpret the constant of the value Q. So 63,100 is the value of the painting, the value of the rare painting at the start, or when t equals zero, in this case that's on 1st of Jan uh, 1980. So in 1980, on the 1st of January, it was worth 63,100. And the value for q was 1.1220. Uh, uh, this is the decimal multiplier of a 12.2% increase in value every year. Okay, that's the answer to these two parts here. Let's now move on to part C. Find the value of the painting as predicted by the model on the 1st of January um, 2010, giving your answer to the nearest 100,000. Uh, so that's going to be 30 years on from then, so t equals 30. So let's, let's uh, do the multiplication, it's going to be 63,100 um, multiplied by 1.1220 to the power of 30. So let's do that calculation now on the calculator, 63,100 times 1.1220 to the power of 30. And that is uh, nearly two million pounds. So give your nearest answer, the nearest hundred thousand. 
Uh, so that's going to be one million nine hundred and ninety four hundred thousand. Yeah. So yeah, um, giving this to the nearest hundred thousand. Oh, so that's going to be two million. If we round properly there, so lovely. So there we are. That's the value of the painting on the first of January two thousand ten. And there we are. That's the answer for this question here. That's eight marks for question thirteen there. Let's now move on to question fourteen.